Y'all want to know what this means? When I got the cover on the boat, that's how you know it's been windy. But welcome back, you guys. I know I've had a infrequent upload schedule. If you guys are new here, my name is Braden Sharon, and I do a lot of offshore spear fishing and fishing here in the Gulf of Mexico, mainly in Texas, out of my Ponga boat. Currently, we've got the cover on it to protect it from the sun. And that's because it has been super windy here lately. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but even today has been howling. I've been trying to film this intro for a week, but it's been so windy out that the audio has been terrible. So here we are, finally, we're back with another video, a little bit different today. You know, we've been doing a lot of spear fishing for Wahoo, offshore Ponga fishing here lately. And we have a little bit of that action in this one, but we're gonna kind of cut this video into two parts. We're gonna go offshore in the Ponga, we actually have a pretty crazy wild day out there. But then after, we're gonna be doing something I haven't done in a super long time, something I used to do before I had a boat, and that is go offshore in a micro boat, a boat way too small for offshore. We're gonna surf launch it and go get into some big fish. So you guys stay tuned. We got a crazy video. Like I said, it's a little bit, uh, it's partitioned into two parts. It's a little bit rough on the filming. I am filming with GoPros in this video as I have been lately since I don't have a camera at the moment. These are my cameras. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be taking this thing out. Got the boat cover on it right now since the weather's been so bad. But before we get into the action, I do have to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Magic Spoon Cereal. So about a month ago, I worked with Magic Spoon in the video where I speared my first ever Texas Wahoo. And since then, they've sent me four new flavors. We've got blueberry, cookies and cream, maple waffle, and the brand new reformulated honey nut. From these four flavors, I will have to give props. My favorite being the blueberry. I was super surprised with this flavor. I mean, for zero sugars, you can't really beat it. The other nutrition facts include 13 to 14 grams of protein, which I personally love. I've been eating cereal forever, and one of the biggest things that I don't like about cereal, one of the biggest drawbacks is that a lot of sugar, it's super high in carbs, but not that much protein. Magic Spoon solves that by putting a lot of protein and only four to five net grams of carbs. Magic Spoon is also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, as well as I said, very low in carbohydrates. I can eat it for breakfast and I won't have cravings or get hungry 15 to 30 minutes after I eat it like I do with a lot of other cereals. This stuff holds me over till lunch at least and it's really a filling uh, breakfast. If you guys are interested, I have a link down in the description box below. I have a discount code WAHOO5 where you can get $5 off your order. On top of that, now Magic Spoon allows you to build your very own variety box where you can choose from all these best-selling flavors including cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry, and cinnamon, plus the newly reformulated honey nut flavor. With that said, Magic Spoon is so confident in this cereal that they have a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So if you guys are interested in a healthier cereal, high in protein, low carbs, and something that is going to eliminate those really annoying cravings mid-morning before lunch, look no further than Magic Spoon Cereal. Thank you guys for staying tuned. It's sponsors like this that help me afford the crazy fuel prices and expenses of these offshore trips nowadays. And you guys liking the videos, engaging, watching them helps out a bunch. The more likes and comments we get, the more this thing grows and ultimately the more money they make. So huge thanks to you guys as well. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so down below if you're interested in offshore spear fishing, fishing down here in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, it's free, so it'll help me out a bunch. And if this is what you're interested in, then uh, consider doing that as well. So with that said, I am gonna stop talking. This has been a long, drawn out intro. So you guys enjoy the video. Bumpy. We've had some uh, four foot chop out here, but 
We're getting it, getting a little wet in the back. We got Cole, we got Caleb, we got Nick. We're going pretty slow. Eating up the chop, getting wet, but it's looking blue offshore. It's looking promising as long as we can make it out there. Once you load up, you're going to put it in between the bands. Just stick it in there so it... Oh, to keep it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I think we're shackled up. Alright, we're out here. Really far offshore. In less than ideal conditions. Probably shouldn't be out here right now. Cole's having a blast. <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, he loved the boat ride. But uh, we're at the spot. I'm going to drop the flasher in. we got Nick here. He's going to hop in with me. And hopefully the Wahoo are going to be there because we don't have much time to dive. Uh, it is 12.11, so we left at 8. <laughs> How long is that? Four, four or something hours? Four hour drive. Yeah, probably the longest drive I've done out in Ponga. It was super sloppy. It started to simmer down. This is probably some of the calmer swells we've had all morning. But got the spear gun, got the float line out. Hopefully we can get some wahoo to make this trip worth it because there's quite the trip out here. I wonder why there's no boats out here. Yeah, weird, right? <laughs> I saw a fish. So we are back out on the hunt for Wahoo, giving it another crack at it. And I'm just going to kick this off by saying that this was not small boat conga weather whatsoever. It was insanely rough on the way out. If it was summer, this trip would have been a complete no-go, given the possibility of squalls popping up. Um, but believe it or not, this was one of the calmer windows we'd had over the last several months so given that we didn't have a whole lot of windows left and considering the success and the amount of walk we saw last trip I decided to push and endure the rough seas to get out here which took forever but eventually we made it and as you can see there is a bunch of bait around this spot just like the last bit if you saw it there was bait covering the area which is a great sign but if you can tell the water's got this milky haze to it which is not good for spear fishing for wahoo you really want it to be a crystal clear cobalt blue so you can spot those fish those wahoo do a really good job of blending in and water clarity is really a big deal for spear fishing you can catch them all day in dirty water but to spear them you got to be able to see them and I knew getting this clarity was a possibility going into this trip. That clear blue water, that really good stuff was right on the edge of this spot. It just, the chart wasn't detailed enough to really know for sure if it was in or not. So I just kind of decided I'm going to go regardless. I can't spear Wahoo on the couch, so might as well go and find out for myself. Give it a try at least before prime time Wahoo season ends. Um, and this is just how it turned out so not every trip is a grand slam this is the reality of spear fishing sometimes a lot of what you guys see on YouTube is the good stuff the action but really there's a lot of time and unsuccessful trips that goes into making those good moments so wanted to show this and include this we went out, gave it a crack, just did not see any fish. 
tow for about an hour, but. Let's get in the boat. Let's get in the boat. Given what I was seeing, I decided to hang it up. The water temp was also reading a bit warm for Wahoo. Um, and there was no other spot nearby that I could go to further out to get that clean water. So decided to go to a reef not too far away. Cole and Caleb had brought some jigging rods and really I didn't want to be drifting out here all day not seeing any fish beating a dead horse trying to wish a wahoo into existence so decided to have them do some rod and reel fishing I figured that that would be a more productive audible than drifting here all day not really having any sign of wahoo at all so actually stopped filming um, I really bet all my chips on doing a wahoo video so I actually didn't film anything until Cole actually hooks up down deep on the jig into something big. So that's where I pick up filming. How's that? Feel very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than redfish. So yeah, we are at a a reef right now. Wahoo diving did not seem to be it today. So we're gonna try fishing here. We just got the first solid hookup. Cole's on. Kicking your butt, huh? Oh yeah. Got something good on here. I think I know, but we'll see. <laughs> Probably a piggy perch. <laughs> crappie? Yeah. You got a big crappie on. You want to jack whoop your ass like this? Yeah, son. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, shoot. No. Here, hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Dude, do you have a gap? Is that, that's a lane. Oh, no shit. way. Holy crap. Nice. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's what I saw. There was another yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, there's one. There's another one. Here, here, Nick, grab that, grab that. You have a gap? Nice and easy. We're going to spear it. <laughs> I guess that's a no on the gas. Simple solution. Yeah. I even told Dang him, it, I was Nick. like, I'll bring you a gaff tomorrow. <laughs> nah, we got too much stuff. Nick, ah. this thing is jacked. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Yeah, just let him run, let him run. These big ones, especially with I that thought leader, it was a the leader, I thought it was a leader so thin. 80 pound? Well, it's thin though. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the old gun gaff, baby. You love it? Wouldn't be the first time I did it. I wish Dude, I thought it was a donkey though. cobia. Or, I mean, a donkey jack. I'm gonna take that. Like, mm, Dude. <laughs> I wish I had my pistol on me now, but we're gonna just have to spear this thing. Oh, Kuda. Dude, I cannot believe this. It only gets the back. Hey, look, they're blowing up more. Here, can I get a shirt out of that? Cooler, Caleb. Yeah, just get me uh, that yeah, gray long so sleeve. Cool watching blow up out there. Dude, I don't think you realize what you have on. No, I do. <laughs> I'm just trying not to. Yeah. Trying to stay cool. Yeah. I got it. This is definitely. This is the best thing we could possibly get. That's not a wahoo today. After that super rough ride, you getting out there and just finding milk. No big wahoo. Yeah, after after that long run out here, getting soaked, getting pounded by the waves, I honestly wasn't expecting something like this at all. This is wild. Oh my gosh. Charge on the other Dude. Floor. Pretty clear. Here. Uh, here. You want to talk to the camera? Yeah, I'm going to put my mask cam underwater. Keep that for me. Dude, this is sick. Funny because Caleb and I were just talking about catching these things. <laughs> Speaking to existence. <laughs> wahoo! Yeah, we got a brown wahoo! <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh oh, boat 
I have wire in there too. This hurts my ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? You know what would be crazy though? What? Don't go. say it. No, I knew you were gonna say it. As soon as I go, what? I knew exactly what you were gonna say. <laughs> Listen, I'm tired, you're tired, let's go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be all over quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's something under it, I think. Okay, get your little toy gun ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Let him oh, that's, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that is a tank of a Kofia. That is a giant. Dude, oh my god. Dude. That is a giant. That is a giant. This no fun. Oh, it's wrapping. Got it's wrapping. Ugh. But I think we got a good shot. Yeah, it's, yeah it's solid. Dude, that is a giant. Oh. Oh yeah. My favorite's whenever you hook them, you get them all the way to the boat and then they freak out. Might need help holding the shaft. Yeah. Hold it. Try to bring it over here. There you go. There. There she blows. Boys. Dude, that is a giant. Boys. <laughs> that is an absolute giant. Dude, this thing is 60. I'm yeah, calm easy, right now. easy. Okay, well they pounds. worth it. <laughs> right here for me, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a little bit cooler than a redfish. <laughs> <laughs> Made it happen. Cole was wanting to go redfishing today. Something nice and chill. Let's go put him on ice. Good lord. Dude, that is a giant. That is a giant. Dude. Dude, I can't. That's your first one ever? Yeah. Wow. First one ever. <laughs> it's a good way to start off with it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh. Dude. Yeah, that's nice. Thank I you. can't even tell you how awesome that is, especially for your first <laughs> one. Yeah. Look at that. Dude. It's grande. Muy grande. Uh. <laughs> Video's on. All right. Very unexpected catch right here. First ling, right? First one, baby. Could not have been a better audible for today after bad clarity. I'm saying 60, maybe 70. Dude. But yeah, super pumped. Pumped. <laughs> this is freaking awesome, dude. What, March? Deep offshore catching ling. All right, well, good thing we got this fish bag, because that fish is definitely longer than and the cooler. Extra. What is this, zero to, 34. what is that, 34 inches? A little longer than 34. A little bit. Yeah, like 38. Yeah. Alright. We got ice in here. Ice in that one, yeah. Big cobra. Put one fish in that thing. It's it. Yeah, literally. It's full. That's all you get. We don't get any That's more why fish. I told you to bring these boxes, Nick. I said, you're only going to be able to fit a couple fish in there unless you got a giant. One fish. Let's see if we can go hook up again. If not, Oh, pretty happy oh, with oh, that, yeah. 
I'm happy with that. Did that happen in like three seconds? We can definitely re we'll redo see. that. Oh. Something big is at 60. Like I think I still got, yeah, we do. We got wire, right? Yeah. This is the wire. Gene. Something's like really big at 60. Oh, yeah. There's a whole school of fish. Oh, my gosh. The whole school came out, dude. Okay. Those might be jacks and cubits. Hey, Cuban Wahoo. Get away from your body. Makes them look real big. Oh, yeah. You got it done. Cuban Wahoo. That's exactly what we came out Not on the spear gun. Not the, the ideal Wahoo species, it's but. Something cool to change today up. Definitely unexpected. Send her back. There you go. <laughs> yeah. very, very Took a second when she went down. Quick. All right, we are rolling back. Quite the turn of the bench there. Day went from about as bad as it can be to really nice got a big leg got good swells coming in seas really did lay down today they just laid down about three and a half hours after they were supposed to didn't really show y'all a whole lot of the boat ride out but it was definitely the sloppiest i've ever been out in the ponga for how far we went out Water looking good. Let's rock and roll. We are about to do it. Something I have not done in a very long time. And that is go micro boat fishing offshore. There she goes. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good one. Woo! Alright, pull this like right in the middle of this. Well let's go for it. Now's the best time. Right after this set. Alright, just keep it straight. Keep walking this forward. We're doing it. We're doing it. Motor on. Keep pulling us forward. We're running. All right. Ah. Looking perfect right now. All right, go ahead and pop it. Send it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's do it. Perfect timing. We're gonna move these rods out the way. You wanna angle that backward? Look at that. We don't wanna be hitting that, that's for sure. Watching the surf like this on a good day, it just comes down to your timing, really. Ow, that hurt. We're off. Going offshore in the John boat. I haven't done this in a super long time, so. I have a little deja vu right now going out. Before we got the Ponga, me and Fisher did this quite a bit. Uh, we just launched the John boat and the surfer at the jetties and go offshore and catch jack sling and all sorts of stuff so we're gonna run it back today we're gonna run it back today hopefully we can get on some fish the jacks are in full swing here on the gulf coast so we're gonna see if we can get into those we've got an eel tied on and then maybe we can snag some cobra so we'll see which is luck John boat offshore action. The, the pong is actually getting some work on it right now. I'm redoing the bilge and uh, doing oh, some routine shit. maintenance. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. 
wall. Just had some jacks blow up right in front of us. I'm gonna look for a cloud. Alright. Alright. So we just had a big blow up of jacks. I think they went back down. There's some turmoil right there. Some current. I want to see them and get them up high to show y'all the explosion. I mean, I'm sure we're going to see more today. No doubt, dude. No doubt. If they're out here in the surf, they're stacked on the dude. No doubt. Yeah. It's sank to the bottom. Big boys. All right, y'all. So, oh, pull out that mono. That hand, one. hand me one of those. Let me show this. All right, y'all. So, this is what fish is going to throw. Is this like a four ounce, three or four ounce? Hold nice heavy jig head here, stout hook. He's got some big long eels right here, 10 inch, big ochi. Anything we want to catch is going to eat that right there. And then I, you guys have seen this set up before, I'm going to throw this seven inch pink hoagie eel, got a sliding weight on there, and a little weighted jig head with a super stout hook. So. We're ready for battle. Water is a bit murked up. I've had some of y'all ask me what the water has been looking like at the closer eggs, and it's no bueno. Just saw a spade fish over there. I'm surprised I was able to even see it. Water is chalky. It's been so long since I've done this. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that a fish <laughs> Dude, we were right there like two seconds ago. We almost just got caked on. Oh, big school of jacks. Big school, Fisher, go, 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 go. Giant school right there. I'm watching them. Oh my gosh. Oh, are they right there? Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Dude, there, there's so many. I almost could cast them here. If you get, you know, 20 yards closer, we're going to hit them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just go slow so we don't spook them. Slow, slow, slow. They went down a little bit deeper. I'm just going to cast. That was a huge school of jacks. Oh, there we go. He's on. <laughs> Let's go. I would cast. They're down there. Just, I think that motor made them drop down a little My bit deeper. Right okay. Yeah, we're getting towed. We're going on a sleigh ride. <laughs> Look at that. That's what good vision does for you out on the water. Keep an eye out. More often than not, you'll see something cool. Dude, we're getting towed. <laughs> no, I'm, I was just wanting to release them. I don't want to slime fest in this boat. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> right when I saw that. Yeah, I don't doubt with you. I'm looking for that school. They ought to pop up here somewhere. You know, this fish might be swimming with the school though. I might still be in the school. There he is. I'm trying to see if there's any more. He's a manageable size. He's not crazy. Fun size. Oh no! Tail swipe. I don't know. It just snapped. Yeah, tail swiped me. Well, that wasn't ideal, but it happens. Those jacks have a super sharp keel. And I guess it got either wrapped up or he hit it just right and sliced my line. We'll find some more though. There's no shortage, that's for sure.
Watch out. Oh, ling, 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 ling. No, but they're right there. Just real, 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 real. You overcast it. Problem is I got, oh, there he is. Ling on. He just smoked it. He smoked it. We just got smoked. Oh my gosh. Dude, another one right here. Another one right here. Sitting right with him. Woo! Look at that. That one's probably bigger. Yeah, yeah, that, one's that one's way bigger. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. He's on it, he's on it. Keep that one on the. That one isn't legal. No, no. That one's bigger. That's the, the thing about laying is whenever they're small and you're not killing them, getting them unhooked is difficult. Doing that roll, spinning around. Maybe I'll unhook them, so. Ah. <laughs> I don't foresee him unhooking himself. No, I'm not counting on that either. Just trying not to get that was just myself. wishful thinking. Yeah, pop it like that. Yeah, I'm definitely glad we didn't. I've never seen one of those spots like that. Yeah, I know. Almost look like barnacle growth, but check it out. My first cobra of the reel that I've personally reeled in. We got, we're gonna let this thing grow and hopefully come back out here and catch it again this summer. Not this summer. Next summer. A next, couple years from now, this spring. thing will be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Get him. There we here. go. Cold back. Thank you. Yeah, he's fine. Ready to go in. All right. Well, I wish we hooked the other one. That other one was probably oh. six inches longer at least. But that little bugger right there just came rocketing at that bait and smashed it. Got a nice dose of ling slime on the hands. Wash that off real quick. <laughs> well, we got my, my lure back. It was just oh, yeah. dangling, but it's cut in half. It's not really good. For that. It's not ideal, but I'm going to try it. All right, keep your eyes peeled. My eyes are always peeled. Big school of jacks, y'all. Dang it. Definitely went down. I just. Yeah, it went down. That was a huge school. Fisher had the plug in the boat. There they are, right there, right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they didn't like that. But are we in neutral? No, they didn't like that loud bang. There they are. Giant school. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Cast, cast. They didn't eat it. They're chasing it though. There he is, oh my gosh. He missed it. He's on it again, he's on it, he's on it. Look at this school, y'all. Oh yeah, no. All I have is a hook. They took my eel. They took my eel. Really? Yeah. Oh, how did we miss that? They'll come back, I think. That was an insane blow up. Yeah, we just got bull rushed. And somehow we didn't get tight. I was probably reeling it too fast. I was super excited. Look at them. There they are, right there. They're going to destroy it. Come on. There they are. Oh, yeah. Look at that E. No. How do I keep Thank losing you. them? Thank you. 
I think he bumped There they are, right there. No, they're just not getting hit, or they're not getting hooked. There's so many jacks, dude. I guess I gotta really set it. That was crazy. It's kind of just cool enough to hook them, you know, get them to explode and then just have them get off. So that was kind of perfect right there. After you hook them and fight them for about 30 seconds, it's not as fun. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. They just get down in barrel under the boat. This is a ling, it'd be a 70 pound ling, dude. <laughs> All right, there he is, come on. There she is. Yeah, that's a real big one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, buddy. How you feeling after that fight? Exhausted. Pretty good, huh? That was fun. <laughs> That's a big fish, dude. Feels like fighting a jack. Yep. There you go. There it is. Let's go wrestle some more. No, let's go wrestle a wing. That's... Well, I want to wrestle one jack today. I want to get that big eat in the stick. If I had my big rod, my long rod, or I can set the hook, I would stick them. It's harder to stick them on up. here. Hard to stick a fish whenever it's horizontal to you with a with a jigging rod. You ready? Go for it. We're simple filming today, straight hat cam. God, I look big in your sunglasses, dude. They're right off the bat. Right off the bat, good. Here. No, I can't wrap it. Oh yeah, get high. Cast, oh, yeah, cast him. Big skull jack. I'm a little short. Dude, can you see that There's school? so many. Let me reel up. It's like in the, that bay we fished in. Yeah. There you go. That's in. A little short. I might get one snag. I might get one straggler. Hold me a hair closer. They're letting us get close. They're in the cyclone. Just butter up at them. All right, you ready? Yeah. Stand up whenever I cast. All right. There you go. That's a jack. I spooked him. Cast beyond, pull through. Oh, Ooh. there you go. Oh, he's on it. I don't want to catch him like that. I want to get a big, big blow up. Look at this. Don't matter. They're right dude. here, dude. How are you not getting smoked? Let it, let it sink a little bit? I don't even care, dude. I just want to get the shot of that. Throw back, yeah, throw back in there. Unreal. There you go. <laughs> now they're missing it. Oh, he's got oh, it, he's got it, he's got it, that. he's got it. Oh yeah, that, that was the blow up you wanted, dude. Yes, perfect. There you go, look at the boat turning. <laughs> look at the school over there, bro. Oh boy. That's unreal. Yeah, I land him while he's green. That way we can get him out of the way. <laughs> Staying high. There you go. All right. Stud Jack Curbell springtime brings these things in. And as you guys saw, they school up on the top. Oh, he's, he's about to start. And it is so much fun. Uh oh, no, 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 they ate it. No, they ate it. <laughs> well, it happened. Look at the school, dude. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Right under the cover shoulder. Yeah, look at that, y'all. I could catch those. Not <laughs> I don't want to have to hang from the conversion table tonight to fix my back. Yeah, these Ooh. will wreck your back. Dude, I just love looking at those schools. There he is. Keep working. I'm just might... gonna lock down my drag. I know, dude. We might get them green. <laughs> Save us an hour. Dude, look how big that fish is. These are ginormous. There it goes. Come on. Woo. All right. Let's get to that ring, dude. All right, we're gonna stop messing with these jacks. We're gonna go see if we can get a ling, a big one, a bigger ling. Pretty good, last minute. 
offshore John boats in. offshore. You gotta be careful. Woo. That wind picked up and it's a little gnarly for this boat. That's why you gotta stay close to shore. Go for it. Getting shallow, got a sandbar. About to hit the next gut. <laughs> now we're in the gut and then that is the next sandbar right here Woo! 